Wait, wait, wait. Before we start the video, I do use my iPad, but if you don't have an iPad, you can always print out the image and draw on top of the image, or you can use your iPhone and use the markup tool um, to draw. On. Hi guys, today I filmed a sketch of Subin and I thought I would explain how I kind of look at my iPad and what I do to kind of like sketch it because I think that is very important and it prepares me and helps me a lot. So I just go on Procreate, uh, the app over here, and I've already imported the photo. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to make the opacity of the image um, like halfway. Uh, just so you can see what you're drawing on. So with every image I draw, I always start drawing a circle on top of them in the new layer. Wait, did that make sense? I don't know. And then I adjust it to where I want it to be. And then what I do is I draw a straight line in the middle and across. So moving forward, this is what I look at and I observe using shape. So basically I will draw this circle like I showed you in the video and what I do is like find shape. So I would draw this shape out from the circle or I'll draw this like shape. Like I'll see, I see this as a shape on its own and this as a shape on its own like you kind of do with the grid method so when i view shapes like this um to help me kind of like tell the difference or like the space between where i need to put the shape is i imagine there's like mid sections here and here and etc and then that tells me how far away from things i need to draw if that makes so for example this is like the midpoint of like this section so if you draw across the line this is where the glasses will start but yeah i don't need to draw that because i can just like estimate it and going about the whole the rest of the face i just imagine like there's lines like with practice i kind of um i got used to estimating where things should be like here in the video you'll see that i do the hair like very far up and then I adjust at the end because when I like step back and look at it again or like compare it with the image I realize the changes and then for example over here um, I imagine there being a straight line going down and that kind of creates the jaw and yeah I can tell the difference between here create a shape create a shape um, and then usually like I create shapes and then I add the detail like for the eyes um you'll see me drawing a circle um and then later i'll refine that shape and like sculpt it almost also i love drawing hands for some reason and <laughs> i find them so fun but the way i look at hands is again shapes i'll draw square or like i'll follow the line or the curve that the fingers make and yeah i hope that helps i'm gonna leave this kind of beside me drawing so you can see see how i view it basically 